Greetings everyone, A. John here with another Red Alert 3 replay. So on south side as the Green Soviets, I completely forgot to look at the name. Masakon. Masayakon? So on the north side as the Orange Allies, we have Sonya dash dash seven. Got a barracks opener, not a big surprise. Reactor, pretty standard. Is he close? Eh, he's not close enough to uh, crawl forward to get a building there. Though the allies, he may actually be range. Eh, now nah, that's pushing it. But the allies build Q pretty. I think now he's in race of the ore refinery. I find it weird that the allies have the biggest build radius, even though their buildings are instant build and build the Q. It would make sense that the Soviets had the extra build radius since their buildings are built uh, on the field over time. Because it's more of a negative, that aspect, rather than a positive to build over time. The bears are going to be sitting in that uh, refining location. There's some black troopers in there and gets the kill on the Vindicator. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice. Well, he did get to kill the Vindicator, but that's a good trade. All the bombs are needed. I, is that there all three or just two to kill a bear? Definitely not one. It looks like it's all three. That's a lot of flak troops as well. He's read his opponent's build perfectly. Nice to be able, if he had an engineer, battle bunker, but no engineer. And that building can hold five. I would just say keep the five flak troopers in there just to shoot down aircraft. It'll force the person to be very careful as vindicators. Dog coming on out. The five flak troopers will kill the dog, no problem. So we we'll need to get out peacekeepers for it. Lots of dogs, no peacekeepers. Now he just needs to deploy, get out engineer, deploy a battle bunker for conscripts or more flak troopers. Maybe push forward for a sentry gun. I really wish people would use a uh, battle bunkers a bit more. In theory, they could be quite good. In theory, probably not. <laughs> Both sides going a bit slow. Garrison up with something. Probably just a peacekeeper. One peacekeeper going forward. Would a peacekeeper shield be durable enough to withstand five flak troopers? I also can't say, but the two sickles here will probably make short work of the peacekeepers. Two terror drones moving on their way forward. They can't infect anything nearby this airfield because it'll get instant repair, but he is able to uh, stun it or snare it. Could try snaring this uh, ore collector, but oh, there's a wounded gun turret. Which can pitch in some damage over here. Oh, flak troopers are being brought on in, on being shot over. Very nice. Does get one of the uh, flak troopers there. In the center, peace keeps falling back behind. We've got one of the sickles pushing his way forward. Sickle needs to start your eye getting killing those uh, peacekeepers. He's starting to get engaged this air fuel. Very nice. Peacekeepers trying to push their way forward. Is he close enough for magmines? He could just try going for magmines. Nice jump, perfect time for the jump. He does get one kill, but it is going to lose uh, some of the flak troopers. The sickle is at point blank. He's going to get some bombs in there. And the flak troopers are going to just. He needs to unload, try getting the bullfrog and escape on out of there. He does get the kill with one of the terror drones. He does clear out one of the flak troopers. One flak trooper remaining just could be annoying. Dog blocking expansion. He does get enough power there. One missile to the terror drone. He's just going to have to stay in that booty. He's going to try to escape on out of there. Did he garrison? I think he actually garrisoned the time. Though that uh, bullfrog is quite wounded, he's probably going to need to throw it in right there. Or pop him out for a magmine. Super reactor coming on out. Very far forward. Very dangerous spot. Should perhaps deploy back here. Where? There's the MCV. Maybe he didn't save that flak trooper. I didn't see a corpse, but then again, he 
he would have done something with it by then. There goes the Terra Drone. Dog goes down to a Terra Drone. Second Vindicator's out. The first one is Veteran. Guardian King is coming on out, which are a good counter to the Sickles. And not so much versus the Paradrones. Sickles and Bullfrogs making their way forward. I wonder how many units are inside the Bullfrogs. I know there's at least one conscript. That's about it. Laser locking the refinery. And that laser lock allows additional damage from those bombs. And here comes the laser lock javelin. He's gonna need some conscripts. Tesla should be great, but I doubt he's getting those out of time. Paradrone, conscript, and flak trooper here. Going through one close stack mines, very nice. In the center, guardians, peacekeepers, javelin are pushing the way forward. One hammerhead, make it car out frozen. One infantry unit got frozen there. It's a terror throw, not a infantry unit. Will it snare uh infect one of the guardian tanks? Try to get one of these uh reactors. Sickle in there, both refiners are down. And the terror drone does get out. Didn't see it can actually destroy it, but must have got destroyed because I don't see any impact. Just two guardian tanks and a peacekeeper. Here comes a whole bunch of vindicators. The peacekeeper does get uh, ooh, one more bombs needed. Another Tesla trooper over here. We do got the these forces cleaning up this area. Sickle still alive. Two sickles. And he's starting to fall back now. The hammerhead did go down. Barracks is still buried alive. Is it worth throwing the engineer to repair it? Multi gun turret. He does bomb both the bullfrogs and the flak trooper. Just sickles remaining and terror drone. Terror drone could. There's a lot of infantry here. Sickles could try sticking around, kill, and just start kiting some of the infantry. But he's going to just try to withdraw from them. In theory, the sickles could jump on top of the javelins and kill them. Nice dodge there. And the sickles are going, I, going back in. Their jumps are on pull down. I'm for the high ground. Nothing rebuilt here. He has a... Uh, slowly rebuilding that refinery. He's only on one refinery. No oil there? Is there even oil any oil derricks on this map? On the far sides. That's about it. Desolate airstrike. Voids all the infantry. Sickle does jump down to the low ground. So does the other one. Armored advance right here. There's at least one flak inside of this garrison. And a number of javelins coming on now as well. It's on the crowd freeze. Let's get the hammerhead tank in time. MCV coming in for some crushes. Laser locking the uh trying to laser lock the MCV. Does crush one of the guardian tanks. It's being repaired. Is there a garage capture? Not sure what oh wait, there's a crush repair. That's what's repairing it. Hammerhead tank tried to go for a crush, but it was unsuccessful. NCV's going for a crush. There's no guardian tanks for anything armor damage. Just snare the ACV. Does crush it and backs away. And the crusher crane can just repair it. Does uh, intercept this prospector once again. This one is not rebuilt yet. Going to try to distract him with some bombs there. Does not uh, jump in time. Does jump in time. Jumps towards the uh, prospector, but forgot about the multi gunner turret. But if he gets us in low damage mode, that will reduce his income. It is in the low damage uh, state, so now he's either going to have to take time to repair it or 
use it at a reduced rate. Sometimes just putting the like, harvester and low damage state can be just as bad as as destroying it. Because now he's either going to A, deploy a war factory over here, or airfield, or just have a reduced income, or build a new prospector. He could take this one, command post over here, and build a new one over here. MC fee still not deployed. Uh, what was that? Just a bear. Thought I heard a cryocopter. Yeah, cryocopter's on the field. Shrunk a hammerhead tank. Conscript spotting. A single sentry gun wouldn't be half bad just to hit the infantry. Or garrison this building that's still not destroyed. Conscripts can be very problematic. He and I could spend the time with this. He could laser lock it. He can destroy it with a laser lock. There he goes, going to laser lock it now. Could hop out of it. Does he get, get the garrison? But the conscripts are actually in a good ambush position. Oh, cryo blast. We'll get the bullfrog. We'll chill these buildings as well. And it is freezing one of the conscripts there. These conscripts are throwing some guardian shots. There's a good number of hammer hits as well. Mash tricks coming up forward. He needs to get these guys out of there. Good uh, roars, multiple good roars. All the images of the one peacekeeper and one javelin is uh, roared. Take out all the cryocopters. The bear is heroic. Just leaving uh, one peacekeeper behind, reinforcing infantry come forward. There's a heroic peace, uh, peacekeeper now. And could perhaps counterattack, or... He doesn't really have good anything good for all the infantry. He may need to get some sickles as far as army, or just a handful, or a good number of conspirators. Can't roar the terror drone. Did, did it stun? Slow it down, though? Here comes Vindicators. Good interception pass, but does does get one of them. Did severely damage others. They only survived because the one was elite. That low health one hit. That elite status just saved him. We do have one extra cannon. No extra guns on the other hammerheads. And I still believe a sentry gun would be quite helpful for this next engagement. Sentry guns are good, of course good against infantry and does good damage versus vehicles as well. Maybe, uh, probably just stop saying. Does not get the elite one. And it's going to leech that one down. Conscripts moving on board. There's a whole bunch of infantry. We need some more bears or conscripts. We've got bears. These are reverse move these guys out of there. Got an extra gun now. Three bears are here. Desolator airstrike could be quite good. If he starts pushing forward, put Desolator airstrike on behind. And then run the bears forward. He does have to. Oh, cryo shot. Will freeze any bear. Make the bears as well. Freezes the bear and does the bears. Crushes his MCP right then. Which means he will have no more bear reinforcements. He will get the crowd coppers. The indicators are quite wounded now as well. Hammerhead tanks are trying to leech these uh, guardian tanks. He does get a handful of uh, roars there. He does get more roars there. He has uh, two more bears in the back line. Crush all the infantry. Get all the javelins. Guardian tanks are surrounded by the hammerheads. 
needs to get these hammerheads off the leech beam and perhaps just engage in another hammerhead tank pushes you forward. There is a rower hammerhead tank, which is going to be very problematic. But there's a Tesla trooper. Apparently he has to use the crusher crate to blow out barracks. And yeah, that is a leech beam. And that's going to be a heroic Tesla trooper. Does get the upgun hammerhead tank. There's going to be a more Tesla troopers pushing them forward. Tesla troopers are good counters, bonus composition of all that infantry. But now here's more and more uh, vindicators. And these could pass the pull some MIGs. Tesla troopers are of course good against infantry and vehicles. They're just a little bit short of range. There's enough bears to support the Tesla troopers to be good against the infantry and they should be pretty good versus Guardian tanks. And I don't think Guardian tanks can crush Tesla troopers but I may be wrong on that. Lots of damage there. He may just need to crush that ore collector. There's at least one heroic vindicator and one veteran. Lots of hammerhead tanks supported by a bunch of bears. He needs to pass a couple more bullfrogs. He only has two or three, I mean four. Perhaps a handful of flak troopers. He can leech beam and destroy them with gun turret beyond max range. Does bomb one, gets another good hit on the Vindicators, gets three of them. Hammerheads needs to go into main gun mode. Trying to withdraw. Cryo get on the back line. He doesn't have an MCB for his desolator airstrike. Tesla Trooper's trying to go forward. The Troopers, uh, does get a really good roar there. Tesla Trooper still doing some good damage in. All the Guardian teams are going down. All the Javelin Troopers except for one is down. Or, uh, roared. He has a couple more bears here, and he's pushing those things forward. Try to go for the freezes, but they get unfrozen the last minute. He can push forward now. Loading all the infantry into his uh, bullfrogs. Not sure, and I think he got more inside. No more aircraft in the airfield. This. Warcraft is going to go down. Does it have the War Factory? Mirage Tank! Oh. If he was just a little bit faster, if he didn't attack the previous round, no, then again, he forced the Soviet player attacked him. Forced an engagement. Three four of Mirage Tanks. If we would have got the more Mirage Tanks, it would have been a much, much better position. The Alec play is going to be up. Sells off, he's just doing a mass sell. Sell and. GG. Overall, good game by both players. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.